And there you have a beautiful rendition of by Mrs. Linda Wolf, their coach. Yes. Of course, uh, Khalid's mom and a tremendous artist of herself as we get ready for the second annual ANA All the Way charity softball game. All the introductions have been made, all the ceremonies have taken place, coach. Yep. And now it is time for the game itself as both brothers get ready to start this one off. Yeah, the competition begins now. Actually, it began with the home run derby. Yes, it but did. This, this is officially when it begins. Coin toss. Coin toss to see who's going to be the home team and who's going to bat first. And it looked like... It's hard to tell, but but I think Team Showtime I, is uh, yeah won the I think, won the flip. Yep, folks, thank you so much for joining us here as we get ready for the second annual ANA All the Way Charity Softball Game from Southwest University Park. I am Mondo the Monster Medina, along with my Hall of Fame tag team partner. He is. Coach Tony Grijalva here on a, a very special day, Coach. Uh, very happy that you can join me for this, Coach. Oh, it, it's well, it's been awesome, and the game hasn't even started yep. yet, yet. You know, it, it's just something that uh, you know everyone has to experience at least at least one time. This is, as I mentioned before, that this is first class uh, in every single way. Yeah, great job done by everybody involved here with uh, Chihuahua's organization. Once again, before we get too busy. I want to thank my man Juan Gutierrez and everybody from his staff for setting us up here. And uh, as we get ready here, all the, like I said, all the talking, it looks like Tim, Team Vino will take the field yes. first. So that means they are the home team. Correct. And uh, Team Showtime will be the away team here. And, Coach, you're going to have to give me a, who's the, the starting pitcher there for uh, Team Vino there, Coach, as we get ready to. See all that. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I don't know the gentleman's name, but he's the one that pitched in the uh, home run derby, and he's going to be the pitcher for both teams. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yes. So Team Showtime will have the starting lineup. Of first pitcher, first batter will be George Hill, and then followed by Ricardo Pepe, and then Mr. Christmas, 
and we'll keep it going from there. Team Showtime wants to get ahead early here in the first inning. And I think that that makes it because that's the one thing I know that both uh, I know Alvin pitched last year. Yes, yeah, they, they did switch off a little bit on on yep. the pitchers, and I think that's one thing that they were uh, they were discussing uh, one one of the uh, conversations that, uh, that that I overheard whether there'd be one pitcher for both teams or each team will have would have their own pitcher. Obviously, the, the the pitcher is uh, some kind of, some kind of a baseball player. Cause yes. We, we were, when we were out here real early, he was taking batting practice when hardly anybody was out here, and I counted he hit 15 over the fence. Wow. So and if I'm correct, he was also the pitcher for the home run derby. Correct. Is, yes. So he's. Is, okay. So uh, it looks like uh, the crowd is demanding Micah Parsons <laughs> to bat first their coaches. You can hear yep. the Micah chant starting here. Yep. They want to get an early lead. And here we go. Micah Parsons from the Dallas Cowboys, the winner of the 2023 Home Run Derby. So Micah Parsons got a lot of confidence, Coach, yes. you know, going into this yes. first at-bat. And didn't like his first bat, so he's going to switch it off. He's got to be comfortable. And now Aaron's like, come on, my man. Let's get this going. <laughs> They're looking for – he's looking for a silver bat, which is the one that he used for the uh, for the home run derby. For the home run derby? Yes, sir. So now uh, Aaron and uh, – Mike, imagine them on the same team, coach. A, yep. man, a, ma a man can dream. <laughs> a man can dream there, coach, to have both of these players Good on way. the same team. Good way of putting it. Mine's but notice good. I didn't say which team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it looks like Alvin it will be the catcher for yes, his sir. own squad to start yep. off this game. And now we get ready yeah, with the we, Dallas Cowboy offense, defensive rookie of the year a couple of seasons ago. Two-time All-Pro for the Dallas Cowboys, Michael Parsons, the home run derby champion of the 2023, takes a ball one, if I am correct, Coach. I think they did call that one a ball. And he swings at the second one, and that will be a pop. Uh, Alvin caught that, but it hit the net. It does <laughs> it not count. Uh, <laughs> this is not arena arena football, you know. <laughs> In arena football, that'd be an out, yes. I think, or like something arena football related. Yeah, yeah. Well, Alvin, I was going to get it in any out he can at this point. So Micah behind on the count here. Actually, it's a one and one. He's going to hit that one, and that Straight one's going to pop up, and that will be. Look out. Dropped. Will Hernandez had some trouble with it. Now here's the speed we talked about, Coach. Yep. Mike is going to try to go to home. And we're going to have an inside the park home run by yep. Micah Parsons. <laughs> first time up. First batter. We have an inside the park home run. And that's a home run by Micah Parsons. Take a look at that. Open, opening the game with a, with a home run. And, Coach, I told you that what translate is the speed yeah and no, will right. hernandez had problem there yeah. got behind him and th that's all it took coach and uh micah showing that speed and just like that it is team showtime yep. one to nothing there could have been a play at home that time but uh, alvin uh, made a good business decision and got out of the way <laughs> of, of, of michael parsons running home so michael parsons inside the park home run and just like that, first batter, one to nothing. And here comes Mr. Christmas. That, that was Pepe, Pepe that uh, uh, hit a ground ball to the second base. One out. So two up, one inside the park home run, one out. So the score is one to zero. Mr. Christmas swings, and that is going to drop That's for it. a base hit. 
trying to use his speed. He's got a double. He's going to try to go to third. He's going to make it to third, so that is a triple for Mr. Christmas, Anthony Christmas. Yep, good at bat. Everybody's playing him back, thinking he's going to hit the ball over the fence, and he just sort of bloops one over the first baseman in front of the right fielder. And you know Christmas won at that inside the park home run. <laughs> that he did. So now we have number five, Rachel Schaffer, a UTEP softball alumni. And she's going to hit it right to shortstop. They throw home, oh. and the uh, throw is high. <laughs> and Mr. Christmas scores. And now Rachel is at second base. Instead of the shortstop going home, getting the easy out, he decided he was yep. going to cut off the run. Didn't quite work out as he wanted. And like I said, now it is two to nothing in favor of Team Showtime. That is going to be hit. And that will drop. drop. Rachel's going to go in for home, and that's going to be a uh, RBI double yep. for, I believe, number seven, Tyler Goodson. Uh, actually, I think that was Dickie Williams. That is seven. correct. That is Dickie Williams. My bad. I looked yeah. at the wrong number. Yeah. And, and it's funny how all the outfielders here are playing deep, and uh, the, uh, the hitters for... Uh, Alvin's team are all just blooping it over the infield. So it's three to nothing by my count, correct, Coach? Yes, yes, three to zero. This is Al uh, Alex Galindo. Alex Galindo pops it up and. Alvin will make the out for the second out of the inning. Two out, run on second base, three runs in. And here comes Showtime. Aaron Jones, number 33 from the Green Bay Packers, all pro running back. The reason why we're here, one of the reasons. <laughs> and uh, and I'm, I'm just wondering if Alvin is talking smack to him as he's trying to try to bat. Well, Look, there he is. What Alvin Look, he is. <laughs> What Alvin's doing, and he's telling all the outfielders to come in. <laughs> and they're playing Barbie Girl, their coach, just to make <laughs> fun of, of Aaron there. And Chelsea assistant, Will Hernandez can can bring it down, and now Aaron, Aaron is out for inside the park home run, and that is that is a done deal. <laughs> Aaron Jones with an inside the park home run. So for the second year in a row, first time a bat, Aaron Jones gets an inside the park home run. As you see the replay there, and as you see him hit, and Will Hernandez couldn't handle it a bit oh. over, and that's all it took for Aaron because he turned on the Jets, and within three seconds, he was at home, coach. <laughs> and just like that, it is four to nothing team showtime. I really didn't see him around second and third, <laughs> to be honest with you. But he's so he's so fast. Uh, Will Hernandez got a glove on yep. that one. Just couldn't quite get control of it. And here comes Cynthia Hernandez, the head coach of the Burgess Mustangs girls basketball team. Hits, and that'll be caught for a now by Kale Griffin. And that'll end the inning. But the damage has been done. Team Showtime leads by a score of four to nothing as we go to the bottom of the first inning. This is the second annual NA All the Way charity softball game live from Southwest University Ballpark.
As we get ready for the bottom half of the first inning, Mondo the Boss, Medina, along with the Hall of Fame coach Tony Grijalva and DJ Johnny Cage is up first for Team Vino. Let's see if Johnny can get something going for Team Vino, who is down. They have it three. We had it five nothing, but yes. they have it officially at threes. And Johnny hits it center field, and that's going to drop, oh. and he is going to go to second. Let's see if Johnny's got the, the speed to try to get that inside park home run, and he is. And Johnny Cage starts it off with an inside the park home run. For Team Vino. Matching it hit for hit with, uh, with the black team. And that'll make it officially 3-1. to one. And now former UTEP Miner and former New York Giant and current Arizona Cardinal, Will Hernandez up to bat next. <laughs> See, Alvin, Alvin is uh, signaling up here to the to the score, it's five one. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Aaron, <laughs> that's Aaron actually. It's supposed to be five to it's one. We had it five to one because Micah hit a inside the park home run, and Will pops it up for a first out. So Micah hit an inside the park home run, and then you had uh, another score, and then uh, you had two other scores, and then of course you had the uh, two run inside the park home run by Aaron Jones. Correct. That's the way I had. So it, it should be five to five to one. Mm -hmm. And here comes Kayla Gomez, Golden Glove champion from Team USA. Had the opportunity to speak to her a couple of months back. A tremendous athlete, there, coach. Yes, and a, a, a champion. I think what fifteen times. Yep, fifteen time champ. Getting ready for the Olympics. She pops it up. O2 count for Kayla Gomez. Very focused. Her mom, uh, believe it or not, Coach, her mom is her trainer, and she's done a yeah. tremendous job. Wow. And she hits it, trying to go to first, and she will be out for the second out. Nice play there by the third baseman. That is Devin House. And here comes Vino Alvin Jones Jr. up next. Alvin would like to get yep. more runs in for the uh, talking for to Team Vino. Rachel Schaefer, who is the catcher, was the catcher last year as well. Mm -hmm. There's a first pitch to Vino, and that is a ball, if I am correct. And now they've changed it, Coach. It is officially now 5-1, to one, so go. we are correct. Swung, and there's a swing, and Vino is going to be safe. Oh. Vino showing the Jets. Yes, he did. As he beats the throw, and now Alvin is on with two outs in this bottom of the first inning. Nice play by the shortstop. Look, look, look at the Jets there, Coach. Coach, he missed the base, Coach. I, he barely got it with the, t the tip <laughs> of his shoe. Wow. If we can see that replay again, Juan, you, you'll see that barely touches base. And here we go, Coach. Here's the replay. He got there. Barely, he got there, but it's all that matters is he got there. Good call by the umpire. And now here comes the big man, Roy Robinson Harris. That's a foul ball. Nice play by the shortstop, uh, uh, Shamar Dean Charles. Without a doubt, first base. without a doubt, coach the biggest man in this game. <laughs> yeah, Roy Robinson Harris pops Somebody it up, it. and it'll be caught by Mr. Christmas. And that is the third out. Alvin is still running, thinking it was two outs, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was only, it was already two outs. That makes it the third. I think he just realized it. So we go to the top of the second with Team Showtime with a 5-1 to one lead. As like I said, it's all fun and games here, Coach. That's what yes, it's sir. all about there. The more, the more fun, the better. Yeah. <laughs> and I was still talking about, <laughs> thought there was only uh, one out. 
Uh, of course, Aaron having a good time with, with yeah. his team with a. Folks, it's your raffle reminder. Don't forget, we got the 50-50 raffle going on. If you haven't already, don't forget to buy your raffle ticket tonight. All proceeds from the raffle will help support our mission to make an impact on the lives of our nation's youth. Tickets are $5 or five for 20 and can be purchased on the concourse. Keep your eye out for our raffle friends. All right, folks, next up to the plate, please welcome. And we are back, Coach, there. And, of course, a uh, tremendous job here. As we get ready, 5-1 to one is the score in favor of Team Showtime. And now Will Hernandez is the catcher, Coach. I don't know if you yeah. noticed that. Yes. And that ball is going to be popped to right center. And oh, a nice catch, catch made there. And celebrating is Nick Needham. No, check that. No, it is Nick Needham who uh, made that cut, catch. Of course, of UTEP Miners and the Miami Dolphins there, Mr. Needham. Look at that catch. Very impressive. But more importantly, look at that dance there by <laughs> Nick Needham. That's what matters the most. True. Really couldn't do that when he was playing at UTEP because Coach Dimmel would have yelled at him, Coach. <laughs> and now here comes... Um, Sean Ab Abood, the financial advisor. Swings at the first pitch, pops it up. But that's going to be, it's going to drop. And let's see if he's got the speed. And he's going to be safe at first. He's going to second. He's going to go to to third. And that is an error there, coach. Yes, it is. Error on the throw to first base by the pitcher. And look at... <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man, Sean, taking it very serious. He's got that serious <laughs> stance there, Coach. Yes, he he does. wants to score. <laughs> and up the bat neck, and there's a replay. Look, look, look how fast. <laughs> look at the Jets. Everybody's, everybody's showing the Jets tonight, Coach. Yes, they are. Didn't have to slide or anything. Coming up the bat next is George Hill. Of course, from the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. Of course, yes. he also played for the Milwaukee Bucks. I believe he won a championship yeah. with the Milwaukee Bucks. He's going to have the uh, basketball camp tomorrow. Burgess High School hits, and he will be safe <laughs> as well. By the way, I do have to bring it up that the uh, distance 
of the bases are shorter than they are in in, uh, in a regular baseball game because yes. after all, this is softball. That is correct. So George Hill gets a RBI single, and it is now six to one in favor of Team Showtime. That's uh, Ray Flores playing at shortstop. Does a good job of stopping the ball. And the first one they hit to him, he actually went home instead of going to first. And on that one, he just uh, took a little bit too much time trying to get the ball to first base. So right now, Team Showtime with a commanding 6-1 to one lead. And here comes Devin House, Devon House. And he hits. That's nice going to drop. Oh, going to go to the wall. It's going to go to the wall. And that's going to be at least one RBI. And... Devon, look at that, just taking his time. He better hurry up. Oh, the, the throw is, and look, he's going to take his sweet time, and that is an inside-the-park home run by Devon House. And that will make it 8-1. Eight, eight. Eight to 8-1. Eight to one. Team Showtime not playing around, nope. Coach. Nope, pouring it on. Pouring and it and, on and look, look at I think... I think Alvin needs to have a meeting or something because <laughs> his team is down seven runs right now. <laughs> and here comes Dion Hankins, the Parkland Matador graduate, and of course, plays for the UTEP Miners. Yes, he sir. is the starting running back for the Miners. There's the pitch to Dion, and he will take, I think they called that a strike, Coach. I. Wasn't actually watching. And now Dion hits it, gets past the third baseman, and Dion easily is going to be at second base. So. Well, you're right about that speed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look, look how fast. Look how fast Dion gets. And that took him a split second. He was like, did that drop or not? Look, split second. Next time you see Dion, he's going to be at second base. Second base. And here comes Evan George Voraveras, actor. And he is going to hit it. Oh, oh, it's a foul ball. Yeah, going foul. But he's, he, he goes to first. And they're going to say it's a foul <laughs> ball. <laughs> the emperor has to go explain it to him. That I, I believe he's he on the one back. of the Netflix shows. Yes. So Evan with the 0-1 count here. You saw the speed. Everybody's got speed in this game yes today, sir. Coach. That's exactly right. And this time that's going to be fair. And uh, it's going to be caught for the out. Yep. Runner advances on third. Roy Robinson Harris with the out there. And he gets booed. <laughs> Roy <laughs> Robinson Harris gets booed. <laughs> Because he made an out on Evan. Out. Yep. And here comes Michael Bradshaw. Trainer. Oh, you can tell. I believe two outs, correct, Coach? Yes, sir. Eight to one lead, and he swings at the first one, and that is going to drop. And that will easily be a double at least. That is a triple. Oh, he thought about Look going out. home. So Bradshaw with the triple. Swung at the first one. Another RBI. Yep. So that makes it 9-1. to one. Team Showtime with nine runs in the first two innings. Oh, an appeal to first base. That is hit to the shortstop, and the throw is high. So an error. Yep. And runner on board for Team Showtime, another one. Another on scores. And Ray Flores with a bad throw there, Coach. <laughs> Yeah, he's like I said, he's making good stops. Yeah, just having a hard it time. Was just too high. Trying to trying to get the ball to first base. That's the problem. 
And that arrow will score another run. Yes. And it is now 10 to 1. Swing and a miss for a strike. Look at that scoreboard, <laughs> coach. 10 to 1. Top of the second. Yep. It's only a second inning. I was going to say that. And that one is hit to center field, and it will be dropped. <laughs> By Nick Needham. He was dancing before and now he, could, <laughs> he, he can't make that catch. <laughs> it wasn't his glove. I think, he, yep. I think he squeezed it too soon. Yep. And it popped out. And did they did they get him out at third? No. With yeah. And and think about it, coach. They moved Will Hernandez from center to, to catcher. And um They did. Now you see what happens. And here comes top of the order once again. Here comes Micah Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Micah Parsons. Had an inside the park home run the first time out. Home run derby champion. And he is going to uh, pop goes. it up. And that's going back, back, back. And that is going to be... A two-run home run for Micah Parsons. He's got an inside-the-park home run and now a regular home run <laughs> that's good for two runs. He's got the three RBI in this game. And just like that, Coach, it is 13-1 yep. to one now. 13 to 1, and I think that. Uh, and I'm starting to lose count <laughs> as Omni Runs Team Showtime is scoring. Yep. And I think Aaron made a good choice of uh, yep. bringing Parsons in and putting him on his, on his team. I told you they were serious about winning this yep. game this year, Coach. They were. And here comes El Paso native and soccer superstar. Ricardo Pepe. He's serious now. He took off his cap. Yep. And the crowd chanting Pepe's name. Yep. Swings. That's popped up. And that'll drop. Somebody's got to call that. Yep. And Pepe reaches on the fielder's choice. I'm still going to call it an error. Now, look at Alvin wants a timeout. He <laughs> wants a meeting because yeah, they're have down him. by 12 rounds. Yep. He wants everybody to come on. We need to talk <laughs> this out because <laughs> it is not looking good for Team Vino right now, Coach. <laughs> it is not. And, uh, Coach, I've never heard of timeouts in, in softball, but this is a charity softball game, so we're having a timeout <laughs> here. Right. And then Aaron's over there in the in the huddle with Alvin. <laughs> complaining about oh, the Oh, that's right. I just thought about that. Look at that. <laughs> I think Aaron, Aaron went over there to ask Alvin if he wanted to get to if he conceded wanted to go ahead and uh, Well, I don't call. think there I don't I don't think there's a 10 run rule in no, this no, charity there, softball no, game. No, there, <laughs> there isn't. There is not. Okay, so Alvin's going to try and get his team reorganized. Uh, he's looking at the score. He's like, <laughs> I think he's telling Micah to kind of slow down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Micah's over there in that, in that huddle as well. Somebody's got the mic down there. Yeah. Aaron's got the mic. He's <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> Umpires had their meeting as well. Yep. So an impromptu timeout... I believe a couple of substitutions yeah. have been made. Team Vino is going to regroup. And here comes Anthony Christmas who uh, oh boy. scored first time around and had a triple. His first at bat. 
he had some success in batting practice as well. 13 to 1. I believe there's two outs, right? Or <laughs> That's a good, yeah, I think there is two out. You're right. Chris Moe swings at that one, and that one is oh, going to get past head. Nick Needham. Yep. Nicely hit. One bounce to the wall. And Chris Moe putting it on the Jets. Play at the plate, and he is oh, out. He got him out. We're in on this with a tremendous catch there, tre yeah. tremendous throw, and Christmas is out at home plate. Look at that. Great catch by Hernandez. And he is out at first. Christmas is canceled at this at bat. Nice relay as well from the outfield. And that'll take. Okay, I'm here with Micah Parsons. Now, Micah, there are no uh, timeouts in baseball. How'd you feel about Alvin calling a timeout? You know, I, I get it. It's like when you sub a pitcher, that's what the time. That's what they basically did. They want to change pitches. We got momentum. They wanted to slow it down. You know, it is what it is. Okay. Now, you guys are doing good. If, if you were coaching that other team, any words of advice for them? I mean, you know, just taking the high road. I would just start walking the best players. All right, that's a strategy right there. Oh, what, the home run derby? Oh, let's talk about your home run. Hey, did you play baseball or softball, like, in school? Yeah, I play in the softball league in Dallas. Oh, that's what's up. Because, you know, we, we see football players out here trying to play softball all the time, and it doesn't look good. Nah, me, anything with a ball, I'm good at. Hockey? That's a puck. Oh, dang. Um, pickleball. Oh, I'm nice in pickleball. Like, we'll, we can play today. Oh, yo, did you hear that? I just got challenged to a pickleball match by Micah Parsons. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to default. I'm just going to defer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, any words to our friends here in El Paso? I mean, clearly, there's a lot of blue jerseys out there. <laughs> and we're feeling good that you came to see us. What you got to tell them? Cowboys Nation, it's time. This is the year, baby. Super Bowl. We'll see y'all in Vegas. Get your minds right. You heard it here. Super Bowl. It is called. It's been predicted. Y'all get ready for the season. Thank you, Micah Parsons. And, and coach, we have uh, breaking news as uh, Micah Parsons just uh, during the, as you heard, Micah Parsons said, uh, <laughs> if you're a Cowboy fan, get your tickets uh, for um, Las for, Vegas in for February. Vegas. That's right. That's right. And uh, very confident right now as they're up 13 to 1 is Team Showtime. And up to bat next is rap superstar Crystal Poppin, who played last year as well. He did. Yes. Actually, uh, did a great job last year. So it's Crystal. How is she going to bat with those long fingernails? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of, Coach. I was going to say the exactly stra the strategy thing, is there. Yep. It, we actually saw her perform at the, yes. uh, at the, the high school all-star football school game. Yes, that's correct. So there's Crystal popping. Takes a ball one. 13 to 1 is the score. Four, she, the scoreboard says 14. 14 to 1. Like I said, I am <laughs> losing count of all the runs that yep. Team Showtime is. And there's a hit by Crystal oh, Poppin. Nice. Gets past 
And she's got a double. Crystal popping with a double, and she's going crazy. <laughs> Tremendous job by Crystal popping. Nice job of placing the ball right down the line, right down the left field line. Good hustle by George Hill. Get the ball back in. That is correct. Lorenzo Sandoval Jr. Lorenzo Sandoval Jr. up to bat. From Miracle League El Paso. And he has been practicing for this moment here. He has. Took some batting practice as well. Yes, he did. He did pretty good when he was yep. out there. Yeah. And there's the hit. And falling. And that... Is going to be a base hit. Nice hit by Sandoval. Crystal Poppin takes third on the play. And there's the replay where Devon couldn't handle it. And that's all it took. And there you yep. go. Safe at first. And now here comes Kalai Griffin. Yep. The owner of Shredskins. Shredskins. Trying to get something going for Team Vino, and that's going to drop, and that'll be an RBI as Crystal Poppin will score. And that'll make it 14-2. to two. Nice hit. Straight back up the middle for Griffin. And we have a uh, substitute runner at yes. third. Correct. And that is going to be hit. And Martinez, it drops for him. And that is going to be two-run score. He gets a two-run double. Does Daniel Martinez, the head coach of the boys' basketball right. team. Boys. Basketball team, and uh, I think I sense a little bit of a comeback. Yes, by the red team. They're only down by ten runs now. <laughs> Fourteen to four, and plenty of time. They got plenty. Oh, of time. Oh yes, this is Bernie, the bottom of the second inning. Yep. And here comes Ray Flores from the UTEP Miners, and also Isleta Indian graduate here. Uh, you, could, you know that he's going to make up for his. Uh, uh, couple of mistakes he made there. Yes, Shortstop. couple of Aaron Thrones by yeah. Ray Flores. He wants those back. And Ray swings at the first one, pops up, and it is a foul ball. And uh, Team Vino uh, choosing not to sit in the dugout, Coach. I don't know <laughs> no, if you've noticed. No. They're yes. out there just hanging out right exactly. in front of the dugout. Yeah, that they are. Pitch to Ray Flores. Hits it right to the pitcher. And that'll be an out. I believe that's the first out of the yes. inning. And Ray Flores disappointed <laughs> with himself. <laughs> Just hasn't been his day today. And here comes the hotel manager, the, the yes. GM for Hotel Indigo, Tara Magurelli. There's the pitch, and she swings, and that's a oh, good that's hit, good and that's going to drop. Yep. And that will be an RBI for Terry, and it is now 14-5. to, five. 14 to five. There you go, Coach. Yeah, There's they, the uh, – They're creeping back. Yep. Four runs so far this inning. So the rally is on. Yes, it is. As Darren Lipscomb pops it up, and that'll be caught oh. for a now by Dion Hankins. Nice catch by Hankins out there. I believe that makes two outs. So Tara has to stay at first, and here comes Nick Needham. 
former UTEP graduate yep. and also current player for the Miami Dolphins. Having some success with Miami yes. at a safety position. He swings at the first one. That's going to get by. Oh, almost. The second it gets by Micah Parsons. And that is a base hit. Terra advances to second. So two runners on base for the Vino All-Stars. Good hustle by Parsons to get the ball down, chase it down in the hole there. He just couldn't quite control it to get the ball the first. We've had 19 runs score, and we're burying the bottom of the second. <laughs> and here comes Danny Cash out. Swings and miss, does Danny Cash out. Say strike one. <laughs> well, he's got sunglasses he's on. He's got sunglasses <laughs> I know, on. I don't know if they're needed. but And makes nice contact hit. there, and that's going to be a base hit for Mr. Cash out. Throw to third. That's going to be an RBI single yes, there. Yes, it is. Another run closer for the for the red team. Fourteen to six. And there you see the base hit. Yep. Terra scoring. And now Eric Lopez will be batting for the Vino All Stars with runners at first and third. Once again, a tremendous crowd here at Southwest University Park for this tremendous event. <laughs> I noticed. And that is going to be contact, and it is caught the far by George Hill. I thought that was gone, but <laughs> nope. And I believe that will end the inning, yes. so we go to the top of the third inning. Tremendous catch by Mr. Hill. Next up, we'd like to recognize and honor Chapin Basketball. This is a team, folks, that made it to the Elite Eight this year. Let's give them some love. And folks, down here with me, I have their two seniors. We got Bryson and Diego. Fellas, I'll, I'll start with you, Bryson. If you could learn anything, what would it be? Man, it would be how to speak Spanish. How to speak Spanish. Well, you're in the right place to do that, huh? I am, I am, I am. Well, let's get to work, huh? All right. All right. Now, Diego, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would do? Oh, I'm putting all my guys on. I, I, I'm putting everyone on. Hey, tight, tight. Yeah, you got this. All right, he's hooking up his boys. That's good. That's good. Folks, give it up for Chapin Basketball. Made it all the way to the Elite Eight. Let's give him some.
As we get ready for the bottom of the third, if I am correct there, Coach. Correct. Great to see the Chapin basketball team honored. Of course, they advanced the farthest in boys basketball here for the city of El Paso. We got to cover they did. those uh, basketball games that they're in the playoffs. So yep. congratulations to a tremendous season for Chapin basketball. As we go back, to, uh, Team Showtime with a 14-6 lead as Rachel... Schaffer is the uh, batter next, of course, played for UTEP softball. Yep. Takes a ball one. Actually, it is the top of the third. Top of the third, my yes, bad. Sir. What did I say? Bottom of the Bottom. third? Okay. Oh, drew the first walk of the ball game. Wow. I think we're going to see that. One of the things you rarely see in a softball game is a walk and also a strikeout. That's true. And here comes Dickie Williams up to bat again. Mm -hmm. Oh. And Dickie Williams is at third. Trying to get the number of the outfielder. It's, he made good effort to get all the way to the ball. And just off the fingertips. I think that was Nick Needham yeah, that, that, is that Needham. barely missed it. Yep, that is Needham. You're correct. You look at Dickie Williams. You're taking this serious. <laughs> Alex Galindo up next to bat mm -hmm. for Team Showtime. Nobody out, man on third. And that's going to make contact, and that's popped up, and it'll be dropped. I believe that was Kalai Griffin it who was. missed that one there, Coach. Yes, and it was. And Dickie Williams will score. And that is a triple, I believe. And yep. that is now yep. back to a 10, 10 run lead, 16. Am I correct? Is that yes. 15 or 16? Uh, 16 in my book. 16 to 16. And here comes Aaron Jones, who had an inside the park home run the first time he was up. Yep. 16 to 6 is the score. Showing a lot of confidence at the plate. Aaron's. Aaron said he wanted to win this game. He's got an inside the park home run. Takes the, that's going to drop. And that'll be enough for a double. But Aaron's going to test it. Look at coach. He's going to test it. <laughs> He's at third. And that'll be another inside the park home run for Aaron Jones. As he <laughs> crosses home plate, that is an inside the park home run for Aaron Jones. Two RBI score there. It is now 18 to 6. Yep. And sometimes I, I get the feeling that anytime Aaron's up to the plate and he makes contact, that's a home run. He ain't stopping nope. at any base. And look at this, coach. Look, look <laughs> at him coming in. Little, and little giddy coming in. And this is the smoothest crossing to the plate you're going to see. <laughs> Eighteen to six is the score. Top of the third. And here comes Coach uh, Cynthia Hernandez, right. the uh, Burgess Girls basketball head coach. Swings, and that is a tip foul. Just of course, of course, they had a tremendous season as they well. Did, did uh, Burgess? We uh, covered their game when yep. they um, went and played in um, and out of the out of the city. Right. Trying to remember where that was. That was Fort Stockton. Now that I remember. Okay. Okay. 
They played one of the best teams in the state of Texas yep. with one of the best players. Oh, and that and not just makes contact. That's going to drop for a base hit. Yep. They had the infield drawn in too far. And Coach Hernandez has some good players coming back, returning That's as well. That's correct. Great hit there by Coach Hernandez. She'll be busy tomorrow, especially at Burgess, as yes. George Hill will be having yes. his basketball camp there. That's going to be right up the middle for Again. a base hit. Time to get in with the base yes. hit. Yes. And no hesitation by Goodson there. Nope. None at all. First pitch swinging. Shawnee Abood is now up. Had a triple, if I'm correct, the yeah, first time up, did. Coach. He did. Paying a little uh, Slim Shady there. <laughs> of his own choosing, from what they tell wow. me, Coach. Very good. Very good. He's going to try to get that inside the park home run, Coach. Watch. <laughs> There's oh. the hit. Foul. Oh. Uh, foul. And the music continues to play. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, that's a good adjustment oh. by, by a boot. That'll be a RBI. Yep. And here it comes. Safe at home will be Goodson. So that's two RBI. Two scored. Yes, sir. And that is another triple for Mr. Abood. Just like you called it. And it is now 20 to 6. Yes. A 15-run lead. Top of the third, correct, Coach? Yes. And here comes George Hill. George Hill. Who's got the basketball camp tomorrow at Burgess High School. Takes a ball one. Made a tremendous catch to end the uh, second inning. You're right. And there hits oh. right to the third baseman, but I think he's going to be able to get there in time, and he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Abu tried to steal home, but he gets... <laughs> Back home at third. <laughs> he realized pretty quick he wasn't yep. going to make it. Made a U-turn, headed back to third base. <laughs> Look at Roy <laughs> Robinson. Harris stop him from advancing. <laughs> and great awareness by the first baseman to throw it at to home. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Look at Will's throw right here, Coach. <laughs> How would you uh, grade yeah, that throw just, there? Well, I can tell you he's not a quarterback. No, he's not. That's why he protects the <laughs> That's why his job is to protect the quarterback. Exactly. Exactly. Here comes Devon House. Big swing. Once again, Devon played for New Mexico State. Yes, he did couple years in the NFL was there at Green Bay when Aaron got there mm -hmm. 20 to 6 is the score Mr. House is questioning the call and now he's getting uh, <laughs> the ump is explaining what's going on there's the pitch and that'll be popped up oh that's high Let's see if they can catch it. They've had trouble. Yep. And, yep. Overran it. I, I, believe, I believe that was Alvin that missed that. Was that Alvin? Was that Alvin yeah. in, in center field yeah, that missed so. that? It was Alvin that missed that. Yeah. He just got a little disoriented. Yep, and that, that is now 21. Yes. And here's the replay, Coach. You can see it. Alvin trying to get it. It just gets 
behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. And look, look at it. Look at the, look at that. Look at going scoring right here. <laughs> yeah. Abu, look at that. <laughs> and here comes Dion Hankins and Coach Dion is all business. He is. He definitely is. Takes a ball one. You got to give Vino some credit, though, because he did hustle. Yes, he did. To get to the ball. He just overran it just a bit. I believe they called that a strike as the familiar sounds of the uh, trains or the locomotives, yep. if you want to say. That's why the soccer team has got the name of the locomotives right. because of the trains passing right next to Southwest University Park. Dion. Makes contact. You know he's going to be safe at first. So Devon trying to go to third. And now he's in the middle of something. Might be in trouble. But remember, Devon's got that speed. That he, he's going to be safe. And he's going <laughs> to try to go home. Look at that. Oh, but now Will's got the ball. Now, I don't know what, I don't know what Will was thinking. Who was throwing it to? <laughs> the third and base. And Devon Haas. Is safe at home, and now it is now 22, 23. 23. 23 to 8. Yep. And look at Will. He was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said it slipped. It slipped from his it's, hand. It slipped. There you go. That Let's see. Good. Oh, he thought he had to test the bag, the plate. Oh, okay. Doesn't quite work that way. So a communication error in the rules. And that's another run as Evan is up to bat next. Makes contact. Oh, that's a nice hit. That is a nice, almost like a bunt for that, Evan, and exactly. he is safe. Exactly. Perfectly At placed first, bunt. Yes, that is a tremendous hit for Evan. And he is asking for a uh, runner. Actually, he's going to stay out there. No, he's he's going to stay out there. Yeah. And look at, the, look at the swing by Evan there, coach. Wow. Makes the contact, turns on the Jets, and yes, he's going to he be safe at home. Not even close. Nope. Great running by Evan as, as well to, to get away from the ball, and that is going to be hit. Another run will score. Evan uh -oh, gonna, is going to try to go in. home. Play at the plate. Come on, Will. And Evan is safe. He went low. Evan scores by going low on Will Hernandez. And the crowd goes crazy here at Southwest University Park. And Evan is having a tremendous moment. Oh, he certainly is. He certainly is. Good slide there. Slid right under the tag. Yes. Look at look at the here comes the here slide. Comes. He went low. Will was high, and Will had no chance whatsoever. Yep. No question about it. And <laughs> Will can't believe it. <laughs> And it is now 25 to 6 in favor of Team Showtime. What a tremendous job by Evan. Good hustle. What, and what, what awareness. Bases. And look at the team coming together. <laughs> yep. Shamar Jean Charles from the Green Bay Packers yep. is up next to bat. And Twenty-five to six is the score. And we still have a runner at third base. That is correct. That is connected right. for a foul ball. I don't know, Master, the way things are going. Uh, uh, Might get the, the 50, team. Coach. Yep. yep. I was gonna, exactly what I was going to say. Then you get the 50. Well, this officially is now a record because I don't think we had more than 14 runs last year by either, either team. All right. And that is going to be connected. It's got the opportunity, and that is oh, dropped off the glove by Nick again. Needham. And that's another RBI. That's an RBI double. Going to try to go for three. And he's going to try to go for a home. Play at the plate. Oh, and Will drops the ball. And that's going to be an inside the park home run. Oh, 
Nice job of rounding the bases. For Shamar Gene Charles from the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> and, uh, he thought about that and then he just <laughs> turned on the Jets. Oh, he missed home plate. He missed home plate? Yes, he wow. Did. There's, here's a, oh, I, I thought they were going to show the replay. Yeah, we'll he missed the home replay play. right now. Wow. So, uh, look, at, look at how Michael Parsons just looked at him. <laughs> Will Hernandez was, was uh, alerted for oh, that. Oh, that's right. Look at Will. <laughs> so, Will gets redemption there. Yes, he does. He gets to put out. So, no inside the park home run. But an. I believe another run scored is now yes. 26. 26, uh-huh. I'm joking, Coach. I'm losing count. <laughs> I'm trying. 26 to 6, a 20-run lead. As I believe, is that Kurt Randall? I'm trying to check. Yeah, no, it's Kiko Bangs. Kiko Bangs. Yes, that is Kirk Randall. Yes. Kirk Rand Randall, excuse me. And that's it right to the pitcher, and that should be an out. I don't remember, I don't remember, how, I don't remember how many outs we have either, Coach. <laughs> and here comes Micah Parsons. Looking for a home run number three. He's got two home runs just like Aaron Jones. Looking for three home runs, does Michael Parsons. And he found his white bat as well. That's right. Started off this game with an inside the park home run to the delight of this pro cowboy crowd. <laughs> Takes a ball one. Oh, too he pops high. it up. That's going to be playable. And... <laughs> It is dropped by Rory Ab Robertson Harris, and Micah is safe at first. <laughs> Can't believe it himself. He was right there. Uh, he was right pops there. Pops it up. It. And he thought it was going to be an out. Look at him. <laughs> but he, he, you, you keep, you continue, you follow through because you never know what might happen. Well, that's true. And they drop the ball. And here is Pepe. Ricardo Pepe makes contact, pops it up. Still going to fall. And that is going to drop. And Micah is going to round to third. He's thought about going to home. You know, good stop by Will Hernandez. And here comes Mr. Christmas, Anthony Christmas. Michael Parsons trying to bait Will into <laughs> now the, a football game broke out. Uh oh, and Micah <laughs> just slipped, and now Will slips. Harris is and I, trying to Roy Robinson Harris is trying to stop him, tackles him. You got two big guys up there on uh, Micah Parsons. <laughs> and he was called safe. Yes, he is safe. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like some tackle baseball going on there. I think uh, some of the Cowboy fans started getting concerned there, Coach. You yeah. saw one of the biggest guys from Jacksonville, one of the biggest guys from Arizona right in the middle of yep. Michael Parsons. <laughs> and that is going to hit. And now this time, Michael is going to take his sweet time. Strolling in. Stro walks in. And Pepe's got to hurry up because we're going to have an inside the park home run yep. this time by Mr. Christmas, if I am correct. That is correct. So he finally gets his inside the park home run. And now it is 29 to I 6. Ha I have 30. You have but, 30? Well, the score says 29. Yeah. So. yeah. We're going to go with the scoreboard says. Yes, sir. We don't want any controversy. And no, no, no. And it is now the Top, still top of the third? Yes, still top of the third. I believe there's two outs up. Yes, there should be two outs. Yeah. 
<laughs> and now Rachel gets just a bit wide. Rachel having the second double of this game. She's going to go to. Th no. Nope, she thought about it. She did. She really did. I thought she was going to make it to third base. This has been like a 20 minute at bat for <laughs> Team Showtime, I think. At least. I believe it's Dickie Williams at the plate. Yes, and look at look at look at Alvin looking at the score. He can't <laughs> believe what he has seen. His team is down by a bunch of runs. Twenty nine <laughs> to six. Wow. I noticed that there's been a couple of runners that have been not, not been briefed on the rules. You can't take a lead in softball. And Dickie Williams is going to hit it, and that is oh. going to just get past Clyde Griffin. And that's another. Now it's 30, now it's Coach. 30. Okay. Now we're straight. 30 to 6 in favor of Team Showtime. Like I said, and I did pick Team Showtime to win this game. There you go. Well, you need the revenge was coming. Yes. Here comes Alex Galindo. Pops it up. Let's see if they can make a catch this time. And they do. Good catch there by Ray Flores. And that yep. should end the inning if I am correct. I believe 30 so. 30 to 6. We go to the bottom of the third. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Jones served in what branch of the military? Is it A, Navy, B, Air Force, C, Army, or D, Marines? What do y'all think? I'm hearing C. I'm hearing C out there. Yep, you got it right. To make a difference in the lives of the military families, the a a All the Way Foundation partnered with Enter Neva to give a memorial diamond to a military family who has lost a loved one. Nominate a family today by visiting aaalltheway.org or simply scan that QR code on the video board. Okay, is there such a thing as a mercy rule in softball? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with the softball rules, but I think we'll we'll probably play till nine o'clock. Keep giving them a show for a little bit, and then you know let them hang out. But uh, so, what's the next year gonna be like between you and Alvin? Um, I think it's gonna be very very competitive. I'm not the same person as him, so you won't hear about it 365, but he'll definitely hear about it. So what do you want to say to everybody that's here today? You got a sold-out game. 
I want to say, wow. Um, the city of El Paso, y'all are truly amazing. Um, time after time after time for me, continue to support me. You guys have my heart and you guys mean the world to me. Thank you for coming out and supporting. Uh, we're nothing without you guys, so thank you for continuing to push me and support me. There you have it. Thank you so much, Aaron Jones, and thank you for everything you do for the community. You always bring it back to El Paso. We got to love you for it. Thank you. Thank you. Next up to bat, give it up for DJ Johnny Cage. So DJ Johnny Cage is the batter coach, yep. and uh, as you heard, Alvin said that they're going to play until 9, but it is now 9.02, so I'm thinking this is Team Vino's last hurrah, coach. I would think so. Yep, and uh, my man in the sky, but in my ears, Juan telling me that is the plan. Now here's a man that is very big teammates with uh, Aaron when they played at UTEP. Here's yep. Will Hernandez and Will Wants to get on base. <laughs> and he does. That is a great hit by Will Hernandez. Oh, of course, nice. uh, as you can hear, it's Viva Las Vegas playing as Johnny Cage scores. Uh, he's from, from Las Vegas, so a little Viva yep. Las Vegas. And now they're only down by 23 runs as Team <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> 30-7 to seven is the score. They're looking for a 23-run 20, bottom of the third. And here comes Kayla Gomez, the Golden Glove champion out of El Paso. She's got a tremendous future in the sport of boxing. She does. And she's all business, Coach. Yeah, she's a good athlete. And now Showtime is the catcher yes. for Team Showtime. Thirty-seven runs have been scored in this game. Ball ball. Ball ball, but it touched. So that is considered an out on Kayla Gomez. And Will Hernandez has to go back to first base. So Team Vino is 
two outs away from losing a uh, big time. But here comes Elvin Jones talking to his brother, talking to the ump. Enjoying his <laughs> walk-up music there. Aaron's behind the plate dancing. That's right. <laughs> And I wonder if, if Aaron is talking some smack to Vino, uh, and I think he is. Look is. at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's on that either. His team is Because <laughs> last year this, this thing was turned around, and now both of them start getting into it. And that oh, is connected by Alvin, and it's going to drop. Oh. And Alvin will have a... Double and uh -oh. look at Will Hulk going Hulk. home. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> and now Al Alvin is going to score. Oh, the, I thought. And this is a very collision. dangerous hit here. Yep. Well, for Aaron, it's just for like, a, like getting yeah. tackled by a, by yep. a defensive lineman. Yeah. So. <laughs> but still, <laughs> without pads. Yep. <laughs> Uh, he's all right. He's all right. Training camp starts in about four weeks, so yep. he's just getting used to training camp. And now here comes the biggest man in this game, Roy Robinson Harris out of UTEP, plays for the Jacksonville Jaguars. As two runs scored yep. for Team Vino, it's now 30-9. to nine. Remember, this is the last at-bat for this game. Roy Robinson with a big hit. That's going to drop. So what's going to happen, Coach, is uh, if the game would have gone seven innings, they're going to recognize a couple of teams that did a tremendous right. job. Bel Air yep. and Hanks, of course. Yep. Uh, I believe Bel Air for soccer, and I think uh, Hanks for uh, softball, of course. So they're going to yes. extend this game until they can get these teams down there. And here comes Crystal Poppin, oh. and that's a foul ball. Put a good swing on that, Bob, but... Uh you know, if you're not in the dugout, yep. you gotta you gotta keep your head on the swivel. Crystal Poppin had a double. She did. First time around. And this time out at second. Micah thought about throwing it to for that double play. That's two outs. But Crystal Poppin enjoying her music. <laughs> Second year for Crystal Pop in the playing in this game. Yeah. Had the opportunity to speak to her last year. She uh, was very excited. <laughs> yes, we did mention <laughs> the, the nails. <laughs> and she's she's got two hits there yeah. with those nails. Tremendous job. She's got customized batting gloves. Oh, oh, that's nice a big contact. hit. Oh, it is caught. And <laughs> damage has been done. <laughs> As booze run amongs here at Southwest University Park. And so he yeah. drops it. That'll be an RBI. Did somebody score there? No, no. no. Crystal Poppin was on first. She she's at second. Okay, now. that's why. That's the blur I saw. Yeah. Crystal displaying some speed. <laughs> Here comes Kali Griffin, the owner of Shredskin. There's the pitch. Makes contact. Crystal Poppin going home, and she will be safe at home. So she stopped that third. She would have made it to home base there, coach. <laughs> and she's still going. Where she, well, she was like, nope, I got to go back. <laughs> she stopped to take a picture. That was confusion. the third out, right? Yeah. Out. She stopped to take a picture with my man. So that is the third out. So we'll go to the top of the fourth inning.
here for Pepe. Pepe, si te ganarías la lotería, ¿qué es la primera cosa que hicieras? Creo que le compraría una casa a mi mamá y darle todo el dinero a mi mamá. Look, everything for his mom. That's so sweet. Okay, Pepe, we know you're good at soccer. Decent at softball, because, you know, you're using your hands and stuff. If there's a skill that you don't have, that you wish you could have, what's something that you're not good at? I would prefer to be better at softball, to be honest. <laughs> to be a softball, like, just badass? You just be a star, you know, be able to hit every single ball in the home run spot over there, so that'd be amazing. Hey, and if you could pick your own walk-up song, because you don't, you don't get walk-up songs in soccer, right? So if you had to pick your walk-up song, what would it be? It'd be uh, Thomas and Friends, because I'm El Tren. Ah, give it up for El Tren. There you have it, our man Pepe. As we get ready for the top of the fourth, top of the fifth, coach, top of the fourth. fourth. No, fifth. Fifth. It's got to be the fifth. I have lost count. Somebody will tell me. <laughs> I think I, it's the I top have, of the fifth. I have bored. Top, you have top of the fourth? Yep. You mean tell me they, they've scored 30 runs in, in three innings? They, yep. They scored five, wow. and then they scored 10, and then they scored 15. Wow. 
That is correct. And now here comes Coach Cynthia Hernandez of the Burgess Girls basketball team. Once again, Burgess will be hosting not only the football camp from Aaron and Alvin Jones, but also the basketball camp by George Hill tomorrow. Correct. At Burgess High School. So I will be there super early so I can get decent parking. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that. Now, once again, we are awaiting for for them to honor a Bel Air High School and Hanks softball. And that is a great shot right there. And now Roy Robinson Harris is the catcher now for Team Vino. Contact is made and confusion there and... Out in time is the throw. Tremendous nice. throw there, Coach. Nice throw by that Wow. Pitcher. Coach Hernandez not liking. Thought <laughs> she was safe, but that was a uh, great throw by the pitcher last second there. Yeah, she's giving her opinion to the to the uh, umpire. But no, uh, no the, the call was correct. It was correct. Oh, oh nice that is there. hit. Connect. That's going to be a base hit. Oh, he's taking second. And he's safe. That big old smile on his face. <laughs> if I am correct, he yeah. is one of the young men that went at, in training camp. Mm-hmm. That accompany uh, Aaron when they're riding the bikes. Oh, you know how that 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 uh, tradition. Uh -huh. Yes, he's got a number. So that might be Devon House's son, there, Coach. Yep. He's got the house in the back of his jersey. He does. Number thirty-one. I want to. Yeah, I want to see the young man steal third. <laughs> as Abu takes a strike two, if I'm correct. Uh -oh. Was that strike one or two? Um. I'm not sure, but you don't want to be the first one to strike out. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, an errant throw, and, and young Mr. House is going to score, Good and hustle. Aaron is going to celebrate with him. <laughs> Good hustle. Look at that. Safe and sound at home. Yep. So I heard a rumor that uh, possibly Aaron and Alvin might be switching teams. Oh. After the next out. After the third out, excuse me. See, that, that brings <laughs> up a good question. Does, if they do switch, I mean, does does Aaron lose? Because right now his team is up 31 to 9. Yep. And if he switches with Alvin... Does this mean his team still loses? I mean, I, I'm, I'm Good confused. Good question. But everybody's going to know the Look at that. Look at the uh, good catch oh, by Aware Hernandez. That's a good catch. Wow, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Will doing some great stuff there. They, they've used Will everywhere today, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, they have. And here comes George Hill. Once again, he's got the basketball camp tomorrow at Burgess High School. NBA world champion with the Milwaukee Bucks. Big swing, little contact. Yep. Thirty-one to nine is the score, and I believe we're in the top of the fourth inning. There's the pitch, and that is connected, popped up, and. Oh, Caught nice by Kara. Nice catch. Yes. That is the th third out of the inning. So now we'll wait and see if they do make that switch, Coach. Right. Aaron yeah. and Alvin, let's see if they make that switch. But here they're, they're going to honor. There they are. That's Bel Air, if I am correct. I think so. Is that Hanks or is that Bel Air? No. Well. I'm trying it's to hard read. to tell. Yeah, it is hard to tell. Yeah. 
We have one more batter in this inning. This young man is ready to go. He sure is. He is all business. It looks like he's taking a couple of swings already. Yep. Good stance, bat up high. Look at that, he's got, there and he go. makes contact. And he's gonna get a base hit and the crowd goes crazy here at Southwest University Park. Let the man run the bases. Yep, good job of hitting. Look at that confidence, look at, look at that swing, that oh, contact. Yeah. And the speed, and there he goes. He's off and running, coach. He's rounding second, yeah, making speed. his way to third. He's going home, and he is safe at home. <laughs> Inside the park, home run there for young Alex, I believe is his name. 32 to nine. Good hustle. That is the Hanks yeah, High School is. softball team. Of course, they uh, advanced the farthest for a girls softball here in the city of El Paso. They did. Congratulations to a tremendous yep. season. Yep. Coach Prather. Yep. Their number one player will be playing at New Mexico State next year. Desiree Spearman. Yep. Yeah, looking forward to seeing her at the next level. One of the uh, top players in the whole state as recognized by Dave Campbell's. Yep. They just well, they just honored Beller soccer as well. Another team with a very successful season. Yep. Tremendous job by both of these programs, yes. making El Paso very, very strong. Now the question we have does do, do we continue with the game after they've honored the uh, kids, or right. now they're are they going to officially call the game with a score of? 32 to 9. Is that what you got, coach? Yes, sir. That's it. I will wait until I get the official word. Until I see Aaron with the uh, with the trophy. So, coach, it is officially it a is. final. Team Showtime gets the revenge in a very big way. With a final score of 32 to 9. But we're going to, they're the uh, sponsors on the board. Want to thank all of them for making yes. this possible. And, um, well, Team Showtime came looking for revenge. Yep, and, and uh, they got it. They got it. 
And now we're going to try to get the um, both Aaron and Elvin on the board, on the microphone, excuse me. So once again, I want to thank all these sponsors that made this game possible here. As Micah continues to sign some autographs there, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Coach, 40, 41 runs scored in this game. 4-1 <laughs> runs yep. scored. Wow. A display of Impressive. power by Team Showtime. Impressive. And, uh, and it all started with Micah Parsons. Yes, Micah Parsons yeah. won the... Uh, Micah Parsons got hot because he participated, took a couple of practice swings yep. before everything started, before people started coming in. And then he... Uh, Got laid into the home run derby, late edition, yeah. and then he hit one home run in the uh, the derby, and then he just had to wait like maybe four minutes until he was up again. So he, he was nice and warmed up there, coach. <laughs> and um, he went on to win the home run derby, and then he was the first batter to start the game, and he started it off for Team Showtime with an inside-the-park home run. Yes, yes, he did. And uh, that just sort of propelled the uh, Team Showtime, and uh, they just kept Scoring runs and scoring runs and scoring runs. As we await the uh, trophy presentation here. And there is the official presentation. Team Showtime winning the game. Uh. And here comes the trophy presentation to the 2023 ANA all the way softball charity game champions of 2023. It is Team Showtime raising that trophy proudly. Congratulations yes. to Team Showtime. Want to thank everybody to make this possible. Want to thank Juan Gutierrez and my man Gage for allowing us to be here. Congratulations to Team Showtime. That is going to wrap it up for us here for the Hall of Fame coach Tony Alva. Alex Chavez, Ace Acosta, Christian Molinar. I am Mondo the Master Medina. Thank you so much for joining us here. Once again, the champions of the 2023 ANA All the Way Charity Softball Game. Team Showtime, they win by a final score of 32 to 9. Thank you so much for joining us here on EP Sports Network.